Hey again. The ways people label us can be a big deal. Someone calling us smart and popular can feel good. But what if we get labeled the weird kid or not athletic? Labels can make us feel good or make us feel bad. Like we said before though, the labels others give us aren't always right. Only God can tell us exactly who we are. In the Bible days, David, a king who knew God super well, wrote something amazing. You, that means God, created the deepest parts of my being. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. That's true for you too. God made every part of you, and he made you for a reason. In fact, the story of how God made you goes back to the very beginning of our world. Imagine, there is absolutely nothing. Only God is there. Then, God starts to talk. Let there be light! Whoa! Haha! <laughs> God just talked and made light. He didn't stop there. As God talked, plants, animals, stars, the sun and the moon, and everything in our world was made. Then God did something new. He took dust and designed a person. He gave them life and chose people to watch over this amazing world he had made. Wow, what an amazing world. The greatest part is the God who made everything this whole universe made you too. He knew you before you were even born. He knows your story and he loves you so much. God is the only one who can tell us exactly who we are because he made us. So whatever labels others try to put on you, always remember God's words, the words that made the world are more powerful than any label someone else has given us. God says you are loved, chosen, and made with a purpose. And nothing will ever change that. Bowie was struggling to believe that earlier. Let's tune back into the source to see if we can find out how his fitness test goes. trying to get it. Really? Yeah. Look, I'm a master. <laughs> All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right, but I am better. Massively. When we started, you couldn't even do a jumping jack. Yeah, and now I can do like three. Dude, you're gonna crush that physical <laughs> Yeah, I am. <laughs> Ew, it smells Ooh. like boy in here. It's called sweat and hard work. Yeah, it's called gross. Bowie, how are you feeling? Feeling ready to ace the president's test. Fuck! It's not really the president's test, it's- Oh, well, it doesn't matter what it's called, I'm gonna ace it! Yeah, you are! Yes, come on. Bowie, I'm proud of you for not giving up. Yeah, Bowie, you go show that gym teacher that you have the eye of the rabbit. It's definitely the tiger, but- Okay, whatever. You go show them that you have animal eyes. That's right, animal eyes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Bowie, what happened? I blew it. What? How? You were amazing. I was doing amazing. I climbed the rope. 
aced it, and then I ran a mile, and I was killing it. Just as I was about to make my final lap, I began to hear it. It started with a giggle, and then it grew to this huge wave. A wave of what? A wave of people chanting, Bowie, the boy blunder. Oh, Bowie. Give me their names. I'll take care of it. No, that's not going to do anything. Like, this is my chance, my chance to show that I could actually do something, and I... I failed. You are not a failure. Look at this piece of paper. According to it, I am. Oh, wait, that's a gym class. It doesn't matter. Well, the president probably thinks I'm a complete joke. The president probably doesn't care. Of course he does. It's his test. That's beside the point. Just proved all the boys right. That is not true. I'm always the last one picked. Always. I just wanted to show I could do something good that I could fit in. Bobby, this attitude is not helping. You do fit in, and you are very special, just the way God made you. Funny. It is when you do it. Remember when you dressed up as Dr. Viv to help me? Yeah, those were all jokes. They don't mean anything. It means a lot. You make people laugh, and that's great. Yeah, now when they're laughing at me. Bowie, snap out of this! What would Mr. Corbin say? God designed you to be who you are, and he doesn't make mistakes. Well, he did with me. Just embrace being the boy blunder. Hey everyone, I'm getting my cast off next week. Oh, I'm such a failure! What happened? He failed gym class and I'm out of words. Oh. Care to help? Bowie, stop whining. This isn't what winners do. I'm not a winner, Jesse. I never have been. Dude, lift that. <sighs> Bowie, when you first started, you couldn't even do that. Now look at you. How did I do that? Because you're listening to the right voices. You are better, Bowie. But you started listening to your haters. They don't know. Yeah, listen to us. We're your friends. And we say you have a great heart. What does that even mean? It means that you never give up. And you don't stop. Even if sometimes maybe you should. But that's besides the point. If half my teammates had your heart, We'd never lose. You even inspired me to never give up after I got hurt. Wow, I never thought about it that way. But we, the world needs you, just the way God made you. These are the voices that matter. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna be happy with just being Bowie. <laughs> Please do. The world would have way less joy without Bowie. You know, I have a new idea for a disguise. Call me Aerobic Anthony. <laughs> <laughs>